the line art modifier just landed inside of the master, is it going to be better than freestyle? Alright guys, how's it going? Now if you're unaware, there is a new tool inside of Grease Pencil and it is a new modifier and it's called the line art modifier. Now a lot of people are kind of comparing this to freestyle, is it better? Is it faster? What can you do? What can't you do with it? So we'll take a quick look, I'm using today's experimental build, I'm using Blender Launcher just in case you're interested, and we'll quickly jump into Blender. Now there's several ways we can actually achieve this effect, let me show you the fastest way. So for example, what I can do here is, I'm inside of object mode, I can press shift and A, I can bring up add, I can go to grease pencil, and I can see here scene line art, collection line art, or object line art, and it's going to add the line art to the object, pretty cool. As you can tell, it's a little bit faster than using freestyle, you don't need to mark edges or anything like that. Let's quickly jump into 2D animation. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete the line. I'm just going to quickly drop down a stroke, just to give you an example. We'll hide it inside of the cube, and with the stroke selected, what I can then do is I can go to the modifiers tab, I can open up the tab, you can see here the line art modifier. Now this might not be the correct way to do it, but it's the only way that I can find how to do it. So we can go to the source type, so obviously we can do a collection, we can do an object, or we can do the full scene apparently. I'm going to select the object, I'll use the dropper tool to select the cube. Now you won't see anything here, what I need to do is hit the target. Do we use colours? Do we use the lines? We'll use lines. Target material, we'll do black 001. And you can see here, I'm getting this one face. Now, I believe this is a bug at the moment, and I think it's because the camera doesn't necessarily project. So if I move the camera you can see that I'm actually getting more lines, but I'm still inside of the stroke mode, and I can play around with some of the styles. So for example here, I can change the thickness, and we get this really nice kind of freestyle look, and obviously we can tweak the opacity. In terms of occlusion, I'm not entirely sure how this works, I need to read the documents to be honest, and I don't think there is many. I would imagine it uses ambient occlusion to kind of do some calculation. You have a few options here for chaining, geometry threshold, image threshold, pre-sample length, and angle splitting. So if you actually put up the angle splitting, you can see here it kind of just tweaks the bottom of the angle. Vertex weight transfer, so obviously that will come in handy. And the main feature here is the baking option. Now, if you use a heavy scene, for example, you will find a lot of lag at the moment. So this is why they've included the baking option. So what I can do here is, is I can bake the current object. It'll quickly run through the scene. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide the cube and you can see here, there is my line art. And that is a new line art modifier, it's looking pretty good. Is it better than freestyle? I don't think so. Two different separate identities that could probably be used together in conjunction. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, it costs you absolutely nothing. Follow me in all the social media links if you want to get a hold of me. Contact me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.